please join me in a big round of applause for our next speaker, our dear friend, Senate Majority Leader John Flanagan. All right, so good morning. Man, this is a good way to start my day. So welcome to Albany. Welcome to the New York State Capitol. And I want to tell you all a couple of things that are very important. Number one, everything around here belongs to you. This is the house of the taxpayer. So whether you're in the legislative office building or you're over in the Capitol, you are in a house that you own and you pay for. And I am very grateful that you let me stay here. I am very grateful that you can do that. And by the way, I've been in Albany now. This is my 31st year working in the legislature. I have never seen posters this big. I don't know who the heck made them or how you got them up there, but it looks incredible. And I love the life-size Lego school box, whatever it is. But um, So I, I don't want to take too much of your time. I want to talk about a couple of things that are very important to all of you and to me. I live on Long Island. I live in the town of Huntington, where I've lived all my life. I chaired the Senate Education Committee for five years, which was an honor and a privilege and an awesome responsibility. I believe in public education. I believe in charter schools. And the last time I checked, charter schools are public schools. Some people forget that, but charter schools are public schools. So let me ask, um, I, I'll tell you what I believe in, and we'll see if we're in agreement. Now, I heard the numbers. There's over 100,000 students, 44,000 on waiting lists. If I knew nothing else, if I knew nothing else, the fact that there are 44,000 children on waiting lists makes me feel that parents are begging, begging for a chance. They want the best for their kids. So just a quick show of the parents. How many of the parents here care about education? You can just raise your hand for me. All right, now, we'll see if the kids are paying attention. We got, what? I'm going to ask you a question. How many of you believe in a, a good education? What do you think? If you do, raise your hand. OK, so how many of you, not the parents, I'm talking to the kids now. How many of you want to be Senate Majority Leader someday? <laughs> That's a little more than I was hoping. But what you knew, you know what? In order for you to have opportunities, you have to get a good education. Now, my job is to work with you. I believe that parents play the most pivotal role in education. Because if we're not listening to parents and we're not listening to families, shame on us. Correspondingly, we have to be paying attention to children. And they are the coolest. I love going to schools. I love teaching classes because it makes me feel like we have so many wonderful opportunities and so many challenges. So you all know some of my background, but I work with very good people. Senator Klein, Senator Marcelino, and a lot of my other colleagues, all of whom are big, strong supporters of public education. So when you want to have someone at your side, I'm there. You want to have someone who has your back, I'm there with my colleagues. So when we talk about pre-K or teachers or space and the idea that somehow you would be denied access to a public school because of reasons that should never even be considered or discussed, that's where we're supposed to do our job. So, yeah. And, you know, in, the, in regard to the Senate, we have done a lot of things, a lot of very good things in advocacy for funding, for making sure that your life is easier so that when the parents are considering their children, they can worry about their children and not whether or not your child is going to go to school. You want to be in a situation where we can come back and that waiting list is not 44,000, maybe it's four. Maybe we're moving in the right direction. So you have my commitment, and I am a very strong believer in public education. Very strong believer. And in order for us to do our job effectively, we have to listen, we have to act, and we got to give you a few bucks. We got to make sure that your system is properly funded. So I hope everyone has a fantastic day. Thank you for allowing me to be part of your day. Have a good one.